The next award was named for a beloved member of the music community and of the foundation, Miss Mike Bernardo. It is presented to a female executive who has had a successful career and who mentors other women just like Mama Mike. Meet Tracy J. Jordan. Music is in Tracy Jordan's blood. But the daughter of a jazz vocalist and a pianist who played for the great Charlie Parker put her own spin on the family's legacy as an executive. Throughout her amazing 40-plus year career, Tracy Jordan has been a trailblazer who was instrumental in developing, promoting, and exposing such icons as Aretha Franklin, Whitney Houston, and the notorious B.I.G. Her remarkable career began in PR with Salter's Roskin Friedman, where she memorably created and implemented global media campaigns for the legendary Motown Records and its luminaries Barry Gordy, Smokey Robinson, and Diana Ross. She served as director of R&B artist development and publicity at Arista Records and blazed new trails as vice president of artist development and video production back at Motown, where she became the first African-American to serve as VP of video production at an American recording label, followed by becoming MTV's first African-American VP of music talent development and video programming. For a decade, she brought all those talents to her role as Sirius XM's Senior Director of Talent and Industry Relations. There, she oversaw booking for LL Cool J's Rock the Bells Radio, Heart and Soul, Sway in the Morning, and Kirk Franklin's praise, among others. She even curated recorded content for Sirius XM's Artist Dedicated, assisting in estate clearances, as well as providing on-the-ground coordination with the overall team at events like South by Southwest, Coachella, Rolling Loud, the BET Awards, and the Essence Music Festival. Today, she's partnered with the Oscar-nominated director, Lauren Lazen, developing television and podcast projects for Jordan Lazen Productions and is a sought-after consultant. For her inspired leadership and invaluable contributions, that is why Tracy Jordan is the 2023 Living Legends Mike Bernardo Female Executive Honoree. Living Legends Board of Directors member Gwendolyn Quinn. Good evening, everyone. Um, Tracy and I have been friends for a few decades now. We have been partners in crime representing Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul, for decades. We were both instrumental in working with the family during her passing, and it is my honor to present this prestigious award to my friend Tracy. Please give Tracy a thunderous applause as she makes her way to the stage. Oh my. Um, well, first off, I wanna thank God for giving me a life filled with family, friends, art, and music. I'm honored and humbled to accept this award and to join past recipients whom I've long admired and respected, especially its namesake, the incomparable Miss Mikey Bernardo. <laughs> Special thanks to birthday girl Pat Shields and the entire Living Legends Foundation board for nominating me to receive this most cherished honor. And an enormous salute to all of this year's honorees, each of whom has made an incredible, has made incredible contributions to the worlds of music, art, and our rich cultural heritage. From bebop to hip hop and all the formats in between, I love music. And I owe this deep appreciation to my mom, NEA jazz master Sheila Jordan, who would play Name That Tune with me as a toddler, using Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, Sonny Rollins, Billie Holiday, Thelonious Monk, my father Duke Jordan, and all the jazz greats to teach me about my musical heritage. She and her village of artistic friends taught me how to appreciate all forms of artistic appreciation and expression. And of course, thank you to my extended family and friends for always supporting me. Again, Katie Volk, Sheldon Roskin, Lee Salters, Clive Davis, Tony Anderson, Barry Gordy, Smokey, Martha Crowninshield, Suzanne DePass, Brenda Boyce, and Carol Perrin. 
Janie Bradford, Claudette Robinson, and Miller London. Thank you. My Sirius XM family, Scott Greenstein, Ross Zapin, Dion Summers, and Lou Simon. My babies, Brooke Payne, Alicia Brown, and New Edition, and TLC. Queen Latifah, Shaquem, and Monica Lynch, Alicia Keys, and Ann Rincelli. Tia and my Cool in the Gang fam, Richard and Demi Weiss, Corey Robbins, the Soul Train Cruise crew, LL Cool J, Claudine Joseph, Jay Hudson, and Melanie Massey, and I know you're out here. Rocky Bucano and Mark Green, thank you so much for having me a part of the advisory board of the Hip Hop Museum. I am so honored. Um, to my Jordan Lazen production partner, the award-winning documentarian, Ms. Lauren Lazen, the future is mad bright across our horizon, and I can't wait for our first projects to get greenlit now that the strike is over. And our website is finally going up. As an only child, I have many honorary brothers and sisters, and much love to th to thanks, and thanks to them for holding me up and down. Deirdre O'Hara, from nursery school to now, and she's still one of the smartest women I know. Juanita Steppens, Deidre Tate, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, Vita Sparks, Gwen Quinn, Preston Bailey, Jerry Inzerillo, and Greg Calejo, and there's so many others. Friends, we can't keep it unless we give it away. So share your stories and your knowledge. Mentorship is key. And uh, let's mentor the next generation of young black executives. Hire that kid who wants to take your job. Just make sure that they don't take it. <laughs> um, and uh, because the OWGs, they do it all the time and we need to do the same thing. Um, and finally, resting in eternal peace and power, my uh, honorary godparents, Aretha, Gerald Busby, Clarence and Jackie Avon. God bless you all. And thank you so much for this honor.